Okay, so the first episode of WWE Swerved. If you saw the trailer, you saw pretty much all the gags they were really going to do. So this one, you pretty much had... Uh, you, you really could kind of say three gags. You had the uh, most shocking WrestleMania moments where they would shock the dude in the butt. So they did it with uh, with Ryder, who was pretty funny to see. The nice thing was, Ziggler knows this is going to happen. He's the guy doing the setup, and he's just the straight man the whole time. What happens is, oh, dude, I got shot. Well, is it still like the wires? So they play that one off really well, and they get to use it a couple times in a row. It's like, dude, it, it's, it, you're shocking me, right? No, dude, we'll, we'll switch seats. So both seats can be shocked. They also do a, a Tom Phillips, and they do a Alex Riley. So they hit enough people, but that one, it feels fresh enough because Ziggler knows it's going to happen. He knows exactly when they're going to get shot, and he has to straight face as best as he possibly can, which was really great timing for that one. But they do like, you know, do do on a stick. I take my microphone, rub it, you know, in like garbage, like put it in someone's face. And that one's okay. It, it's a nice filler. It's like, oh, we need to, like a quick 30 second space between here and here. And that, that, that one's not too bad. The one that seemed to just go a little bit too long, Renee Young was doing the setup for this one, and they're making healthy nachos. So how do they make the healthy nachos? Well, they've got, you know, the cheese, they're cutting up some stuff, and then where the nachos are, you've got Hornswoggle. So you get Booker T, and the Booker T seems to it's just like once you know what the setup is, you're just waiting for them to remove that lid and do the ah. So the Booker T one wasn't that bad. Decent reaction. The when Natalia does it, they do a shorter version and it, it's okay. The Cameron one is again kind of okay. The Xavier Woods does the scene the segment topless. Dude looks huge next to Renee Young. He has by far the absolute best reaction to the sequence. And they let him get a get a little bit in on it as well. So that one was 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 pretty good just for Xavier Woods. All the other ones just seemed to take a little bit too long. And it was weird. Most of the network shows are about a half an hour in length. I think this one coming on just after Monday Night Raw, they're going to scream out 20 minutes. I could see that because that way you have the overrun for Raw and then to this show. And it's not bad. Is this a reason to get to the network? No. We all know that's NXT. It, it's a nice add-on. It's a nice thing to have when you're not watching, like, uh, The List, which is their kind of top ten, or the, the Jerry Springer two out for TV segments. So it's not bad. It's a nice addition. It, it is very much uh, your, your PG juvenile humor to it. Like, the shocking sea parks portion was great. I think most of that was just Ziggler, his timing, getting it to work, and, and not breaking character the whole time. So... All in all, not bad. I do think it'll probably get better. I think the first one is you might not have as great of material. And I think the fact that since I think they showed a lot of stuff from the first two different ones, that you've already seen the majority of what the really funny spots were from the, the trailer before watching this episode. So you know the trailer was funny, it's virtually the same thing, just a little bit longer.